Yeah. Were, were your clients asking for it? I mean, you know, one of your clients, Deborah Meyer, was here yeah. yesterday. Um, you know, we've discussed it before. The, the automotive industry, for a long time, lagged behind in um, um, kind of thinking about interactive, uh, uh, allocating budget to interactive. So. Were you ahead of your clients? Were you with your clients? How did, how did this factor into the, uh, the equation? You know, when you're running, I mean, we have uh, 287 agencies around the world and 16,000 people and 1,200 clients. Um, so there isn't a moment when the clients are doing anything in particular. Um, they're all grappling with their own problems, their own organizations, their own markets, their own issues. Um, at a diff, you know, in a different way on a different day. And uh, so the answer to your question is some were, but a lot weren't. Mm -hmm. um, a lot were buying BBDO for what BBDO had been and what BBDO had done. Um, but from our own perspective, we needed to reinvent us, ourselves and redefine what we were going to be about and then embark on, as you put it, changing the wheels on the train whilst we kept it going, um, job by job, client by client, agency by agency, uh, day by day around the world, to keep making progress against that, uh, because we have a fundamental conviction that that's where it's going to end. Let, um, let, me, let me ask you a little bit about that. You know, because we've, we've known each other for a while, that one of my favorite subjects is, is management, organization, yeah. leadership, how you make things happen through people. Um, 16,000 people at 287 agencies? Yeah. That's a lot of outposts. That's a lot of change to manage. Um, you're one human being. Um, you do get some sleep at night. I mean, how do you go about kind of, um, uh, kind of getting this change t to begin and cascade through the system? I and mean, what did you start doing? Well, um, you, have to, uh, you have to define what, what's going to matter and what has to be the same and then recognize and encourage everything else to be different. Um, and then in some cases you've got to get leaders in place in those 287 companies that you know believe in it and they're gonna, are gonna lead the way on it. Um, and in our case that's very, very, very simple. We don't have a model, we don't have a plan. Um, we have a, a fundamental goal which is the work, the work, the work, create and deliver the world's most compelling commercial content. And we have three operating principles, only three, and they apply to everybody. Number one, uh, secure an unfair share of the limited pool of exceptional talent, mm -hmm. uh, because there isn't enough of it. And the exceptional talent does the exceptional work that gets the next generation of exceptional talent. The second thing is to find ways to leverage that talent as widely as we can across borders and brands and cultures and forms. Mm. Um, that's partly a function of uh, leadership, making it clear that that's what we expect by, by our behavior, and partly a function of creating a few simple tools and processes that make it easier for people to do that. Hmm. Um, I can't tell 287 officers to do anything. What I can do is explain what's in it for them and give them the tools that make it easier, just like life is doing for us, uh, to do it themselves. And then the third thing is to use the network. And we set those up as the, uh, as the fundamental principles. And then everything else can change. The specific way in which Almat BBDO in Sao Paulo is delivering against that today, their model, how, you know, how they're organized, how they get paid, whatever they do, is different from the way it is in uh, Munich. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, because they're both starting in a different place with a different set of people and a different set of clients and a different set of campaigns that they're working on today. But in both cases, uh, what they're doing today will be different from what they're doing tomorrow. We used to and call this at Booz Allen principles-based leadership, not rules-based leadership. That's, I didn't know that's what it was called, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're <laughs> but but no, no, let me ask you a hard question, and I, we want to go to some, uh, some visuals too. That all, that, I mean, it sounds you know, logical and valid, um, but for a creative agency uh, in the era of unbundling, um, one of the things that does, wouldn't appear to be at your, um, at your hand is the um, kind of, let's say, ownership of the media function. Media got removed from the equation, put into its own place. So um, how, if you're trying to go uh, borderless, boundaryless, formless, trying to create things that work across platforms, how do you do that if you don't have media as part of your uh, tool set? Well, um, I don't think it's about ownership. 
And I think that's kind of one of the words okay. that causes all sorts of problems. Um, I think the, uh, the trick is to work out what has to get done and how you're going to get it done, not who's going to own or control what. Mm -hmm. um, and part of the, uh, the thinking behind some of these processes that we've developed, and there aren't, aren't, aren't a lot of, of them, and they're pretty kind of common sense, but that makes it easier to use, is to ensure that we can get the input that we need from media specialists, uh, whether they are part of our organization, part of our sister organization, or not, nothing to do with our organization. Mm -hmm. We've deliberately designed it so that you can do that. Um, and then who owns who is something that gets figured out later. So it's co -op, the concept of co-opetition actually brought into, into practice. We want the expertise. We don't really care where it comes from. You want the result. You mm -hmm. want the result. You want the output. You've got to get the, the plan and the strategy and then the work, the idea, and the execution. And um, somehow you've got to figure a way to bring people together who may or may not have common ownership Let's and get that done.